So this will be video 5 of the 350 skill Katinga. Brought to you by HDA Model Works. This is where you can buy this kit as well as the lighting kit and lots of other stuff that um, you might be interested in. So, what I am doing here is, um, well, yeah, actually, first of all, I realized that those uh, inserts need to be sandwiched in here. I thought these, these could be put together first. So, fortunately, this glue is kind of weak that I used. So, like, uh, here we go. This one kind of popped open pretty easily. I think this was that, that lemon-smelling stuff, and it doesn't really seem to work very well on this kit's plastic. So this is, uh, maybe I can wiggle this apart, maybe. There we go. All right, now these rear engines are open. So yeah, these, these red plastic parts need to go in there. All right, so uh, anyhow, what I was uh, just doing just now I am going in to the back of these and I'm opening them up a little bit with my my pin vise. I'm just using like a .8 or something like that. Just opening up the windows a little bit more uh, from the back to help the light shine out of them more. So I realize that those uh, plastic, the, the clear plastic actually, they fit over here and I can use them to achieve some light distribution, some di uh, light diffusion that way. And I'm going to be doing that next actually. So the, with the light diffusion, first thing is first is there we go okay I got some sandpaper and I've been going over this plastic with uh, this is like 180 grit or something like that really heavy heavy grit so I am roughing up the plastic here. So then when the, the LEDs are shining from the inside, uh, hopefully you're not gonna get like really bad hot spots. So I will proceed to do this for all of these, these plastic parts here. And uh, I think in my previous video I showed some diffuser caps and I think what I want to do is use, I, I think I found a good place to, to use those for this kit and it's going to be in that uh, that uh, red glowing reactor core or whatever that, that's on the, the back of this, uh, this, this starship. So I'm just kind of frosting up the clear plastic with sandpaper here. Great. Now this is going to be, I'm going to use the red one here instead. That's what this is here. So I believe I'm ready to start. Uh, doing some some of the sub sub assemblies. There. Yeah. One thing I've noticed: uh, some people, when they build this kit, they don't really mask off this red ring. And the end result is that the whole ring glows instead of just some window ports. Uh, what I'm doing right now, first, the first stage is uh, I'm using masking solution here. And mask. 
masking off the indentations where these windows are supposed to be. I'm going to do this light pipe thing here. Okay, I, I'm going to get back to this. Um, actually, uh, I, I went over this with that, um, that light blocking paint. Um, I'll, I'll get back to this later, I guess. Anyhow, um, I want to do this light pipe here. Okay, so I'm going to use epoxy cement. And let me tell you, it is stinky. I, I don't like epoxy cement. Okay, I just, I think it's pretty stinky. Alright, so let's just mix this up. It is stinky. Alright. Now, what I want to do is splorch a big bunch of stuff here. There we go. Get in there, please. Alright, that's good to go. Let's just attach this in here. Alright. And then cover it up with some more to help keep it solidified. I'm just going to be really liberal with this because I don't want this to come undone when it's inside the, the kit, you know. Let's get a bunch on the back side here as well. Oh, see, I just knocked it out, out, out of the socket there. All right, that's just going to have to sit there and dry now. All right, so... I suppose what I could do is take this crap off here. It's kind of hard to tell where I, where the windows are now, though. Okay, so here's one here. Let's, uh... What will be the best way? Oh, man, that stuff is so stinky. Alright. There we go. That's one window out. Looks like this is another one. So, I don't think it's going to get perfect, but... Uh, I was able to do a whole bunch of it real quick because this had been masked off. There. I think there's another one right here that needs to come. Yep, there it is. There. And then I'll just have to come in closer with a fine paintbrush to paint more of this light blocking paint on here. So you got one, two... Wait, is it here? Yeah, there's like, there's three. Oh, I was watching, oh gosh, what's his name? Um, okay, there's Tagamo Model Works. He's, he's great. Okay, and, um, uh, Aztec Dummy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Lou Dalmaso, I think his name is. Or either one of those, I can't remember, because I, I watched both of their, their builds of the Katinga. Um, one of them was doing the Photo Etch that Paragraphics is supplying, and they don't have the proper number of windows. Like here, you, there's three windows for the front, and then you got like two on the side. Uh, however, the Paragraphics has four, so they 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 kind of messed it up. That is unfortunate um, because I I think they should at least you know match this part. Uh, I, I don't know why. I don't know if that was an oversight or what, but uh, whatever. Um, I don't believe that the photo etch is necessary because if you just use light, some rather uh, good light blocking paint, like I have done here, then photo etch hopefully should not be necessary. Now I am using. Now this is. I live in Japan. Okay, this is model casting shade black. This is specifically 
formulated for light blocking. And I airbrushed it also onto the dome here, the bridge dome. Now the inside is nice and white, the outside is black. So yeah, um, you can brush paint this as well as airbrush it. So there you go. All right, so this is how this is going to be happening here. So I'm just going to leave this alone and let it dry. Okay, the next thing I need to do is um, I do these lights here. So this is going to be fed in through here, and then. Well, you know what? I'm going to get some uh, electrical tape or something or other to, to take these, uh, keep this in, in place. Hold on. All right, I finally got some here. All right, let's put this into place here. Now, I got this. This is uh, starting to solidify. I got some leftover crap here. I'll just deposit this into the place there. Yeah. All right, let's feed this through here. Put this where it belongs. Okay, and now it's it's in place now. Okay, I'm just gonna put the tape on here. Now this is this is uh, in place now. Um, oh shoot. I guess the paint hasn't really fully dried yet because actually I was trying to rush it a little bit so that I could. There's my acrylic paint thinner. Um, I didn't want the the stinky glue to go to waste. But. Anyhow, I'll just wipe off some of this excess white paint and uh, there we go I just wanted to have a bit of white behind the bulb to help to direct the light going this way so there you have it let's oh wait hold on here it, this is really weird there's like a 10 106 there's two of these 106 parts. And then they're both called 106 even though they're like they're different from each other. And then you have these others. Maybe these are extras. I don't even know what they're for. Really weird, but anyhow, it, it is self-evident how these are supposed to go. Let me uh clip one of these off. And uh get the gate more. These are going to be difficult to find if they go flying across the room. Alright, I got this uh, micro crystal clear. And all I want to do is put this uh, micro crystal clear right here. To keep this clear part in place. And I don't want to have a whole bunch though that it'll, it'll splurch. That would not be good. Okay, now. Now the instructions say the right and left, even though the, the, the sprue is not indicate which is left and which one's right. But it would seem that the part goes in like so. There. And there you got your clear part. Okay. Let's do the other side here. Let me 
There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's cut this other one off. Hopefully without losing it. Alright, the gate's clean. And just carefully place it in here like so. There we go. There. There we go. All right. Now, uh, what I can do here, oh, by the way, I've also painted the inside here as well, the part that faces against the, the LED. All right, let's see how this is supposed to go. Actually, no, this is not the right. This has got to be it, okay. Now, the assembly instructions say that you got to put these end, end caps on here as well. Uh, where's the other one? Okay. Alright, so, they should just fit straight on there, I guess. Okay, cool. Alright, so, let me uh, put the cap on this guy here. And I'm going to use uh, cement here. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, that's right. Put these on the locator tabs here as well. Okay. Now this goes in here like so. There we go. Great. Okay. Now. Are these identical? I wonder. Nope. Oh, crap. Okay, that means I have to pay attention here. Do you have to pay attention? Um. Alright. This is going to be the part here. This is part 12, apparently. And this is going to go on top here. Okay. Alright. Let me hold on and move this closer here. Okay, so. This is in here. And then uh, this goes in here like so. Okay, now, I'll tell you what. Let's put the glue. Alright. Oops, I got this upside down, <laughs> I guess. There we go. There. Now that's in place. Um, as for the top, you know, maybe I should... Uh, I'm just going to use the extra thin here. here I'm going to use this cement here, Mr. Cement. Get this in the corners here. So as the instructions say, you gotta just uh, keep testing the electricity conductivity just to make sure as you go along. 
Okay. And, in fact, let's just go ahead and do that now. I got this here. Um, there is no slot for H because it builds off of another. So I'll just plug it into the B. And then plug it in. And there you have your light. Isn't that beautiful? Great. Okay, um, the other side is going in identically. So I'm just going to skip ahead. We're going to move on to the nacelles here. Now this is really nicely engineered so that there's no mistake on how this goes. I, I just, again, I wish that the, uh, the bulb of the, you know, the, the, the bridge area would have been the same way. But you can see that there's like an indentation here. There's like an empty hole. There's, there's this uh, tooth that goes along in here. That way you're not going to make any mistake here. Okay. So let's just set this down. Now, here is one of these light pipes. And it's, uh, you know, it's just fine. Doesn't look like it's going to need any. You know, I might. I might put down some super glue, I guess. I don't think it's necessary, though. So I think once these halves go into place, it's going to hold it, and it should be fine. Let's just um, test this out, I guess. Um, Come on. Okay. Oh, the problem is, though... Oh, crap. There, this has to go in like that. So, the light pipes are sticking out in the holes, and that's just fine. Great. Snaps into position. Now, again, before we make this permanent let's get the battery here this is uh, part B and here we go with part B and that's how it lights up that looks really cool see that? that's great now again I'm not pushing it in all the way because these this will kind of lock and it's difficult to open it back up so um, shoot. I guess I'll just use this all the way around. There. Sorry, I'm trying to go quickly here. And then we're guess I guess we're done here. There. Now I wonder if I should on him. And I guess I will do that right now. There we go. Okay. So then this just kind of fits in there like so. Now I'm just going to put on the the thick glue here. Get it around here. Oops. There. All right. 
cool. Very cool. And I'm gonna tissue here. Got some glue that went there that doesn't need to be there. There. Very, very cool. Now again, <laughs> I, I would like to do this. This is a B, right? Yeah, B. Okay, it's on. B. Oh gosh, that's so cool. Look at that. That's really great. So the white that I painted on that, that light pipe is to help bounce the light all the way down to here. And then um, I just did the silver on top. And it didn't, I just, I was originally going to do black, but I'm like, you know, it might kind of dim the, the white. So I just did it with silver. But that is so cool looking, man. This is so cool. I'm happy. All right. The other one's going to go down just the same way, so I'll just skip ahead. Winner. Something that the lighting instructions call for, which I really don't think is necessary, is to remove these. You're supposed to cut these off here and attach them to here. And uh, I don't see a, really much of a, a point to that because I think you can go ahead and paint these separately. Now what I did was I masked off the gluing contact areas and um, I'm just going to be really careful when I when I put glue down here, I, I guess. I really don't feel like cutting these off. Really, I mean, the this this part should have had these things already attached anyways. And then, I, I don't know why that they would have them attached to this thing here. And then tell you to cut them off and then attach them to here. I just, that's just really weird. I'm going to try to get away with not doing that. So... As you can see, the fit is really good. So uh, I hope that I can just just sparingly put some glue down here and get it to work right. Um, now this is really rough. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to uh, go over this again uh, with a lower or sorry a higher grit and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Anyhow, the LEDs plug into here. And then this goes into here. Now there's this thing on top here. And while it's, um, it seems nice. Yeah, it goes like that. There's a bit of a problem here. Check this out. Let's see if I can get this on camera. I'll hold this up to my light here. And you see, you can see got like a really big gap right there so I'm gonna have to try to fill that in don't like it so I've assembled this this top part here um, I've, I've been uh, filling in this this uh, crack here and then I realized it's not necessary because things these things are going to be sticking on top of that anyway so that I was just wasting my time just now I wasn't even thinking my brain was on autopilot just going around what I really needed to do was fill in this crack here all right so there was a, a bit of a gap you could see the light shining through there so um, right now I am using Mr. Surfacer 1000 and I've just uh, been yes love what? What do you want, my little spice weasel? What? Are you bored? Hmm? Okay, I need to get the S tone here. Did, did you finish your dragon quest? No, yeah. No? You got to a save point, right? Mm. That's good. 80, 83. What? You, you got 83 of your friends? You found them? Mm. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this is um, acetone nail polish remover. Just got a pointed Q-tip. And I'm just uh, going in. 
wiping off excess here. There. That's great. Now this crap it doesn't matter, I guess. I've, uh, I've been putting this on there for no reason, really. So, I can just leave this, leave this alone. Those uh, side modules are going to be covering this up anyways. Yep, there he is. There you go. Is it almost bath time? Not yet. Okay. Okay, great. So this is going to be good to go. I'm pretty sure when I prime this, it's going to look okay. So I'll probably do a black primer. And the black primer I have is uh, Gaia Notes. Surfacer Evolution, Evo, Surfacer Evo, black. This stuff stinks like crazy. And I'm um, not, not happy about that. My wife really doesn't like it either. But, oh well. So, um, yeah, I guess this part's all set to go. And the other part's kind of just stick on here. And I think the wire goes in through here as well. So. Um, the lights are going to be in the back. So, actually, yeah, this, this fits like so. But I need to put those little clear parts in here. I'll do that next. Alright, again, we'll use the micro crystal clear. And we'll uh, fix this. Here we go. Uh, where's my? Here we go. All right. So this is uh, the little round piece. It uh, fits right in there. Hopefully. There. That looks nice. Great. Okay, uh, let's put this around here. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit too much. That's all right though. Just get a tissue or something. Gosh, crap. All right, let me get another toothpick, I guess. So I can get this out of the hole. There we go. Alright, the hole's clear now. I guess. Let me get this crap out of here. Alright, let's try this again. Put this around the outside here, not inside the hole. And then get the tweezers. Great. Oh, it looks like a little bit of the glue got in there, but I guess it's okay because it's micro crystal clear anyways, right? Should dry perfectly clear. Well, so here we go. This is in place now. Okay, cool. Now, This goes like so. Then the LEDs are going to be attached like like here. So let's use the cement here. Let's take a look here. All right. So when you get the cement along the top here, and here and here. All right. 
that's great. And uh, so I don't want this hole here. I mean, I could tape this up, or I suppose I could go ahead and attach these modules here, like so. I mean, I, I guess this is how, how they go, right? Let me take a look here. Oh, no, I got it up. I got it backwards. It goes like, like here. There we go. So, yeah, I could go ahead and just uh, totally light block these just by gluing this together. And I might, might, might just do that. Excuse me. Yeah, why not, right? Why not? Yeah, so the wires are just, uh, we'll have to cover these up. But if I had, go ahead and attach this now, you're not going to get any any more uh, crap going in there. So, well, here we go. I don't see why not. Oh, and let's just uh, put it along on this side here, I guess. All right, great. Oh, that's fantastic. That is cool. All right, that's in place. And the other, I see, I don't even know what these things are, I'm sorry. I just don't know, man. But they have lights on them, so that's cool. <laughs> Cargo modules? I really could not tell you. I have no idea. But spaceships are cool. Spaceships are pretty cool. There. Okay, here we go. So the upper back part is now constructed. Yay. So yeah, this is all taped off to keep the plastic nice and bare to prevent any problems. And, you know, I might have to put some uh, masking in there anyways to make sure I don't accidentally get any sort of uh, paint going in there and uh, covering up the, the clear parts back there. Don't want that to happen. But anyhow, here we go. I'm getting ready to prime this. I'm going to be making my wife mad because I'm going to be using the Gaia Notes Black Primer. And it is super stinky, and I don't like it, but, you know, whatever. It's a black primer, and that's what I'm going to use. So, um, in order to uh, get this stuff ready for priming, though, like the wires, I need to protect these, obviously, so I just put them in these little Ziploc baggies and close them down here. Now, we need to do this here. This stuff is, I'm using this Loctite, the blue blue tack here, and filling in the holes where the lights go. Okay. I want it to uh, fit the, the shape properly and make sure that no paint's going to leak in there. So I got this, the big ones, on the edge, on the end here. This is all plugged up. So, got this guy here, which might be too big. Might be too big. There we go. Yep, it's too big. Just kind of 
rip this in half, maybe. Okay, just put this down here. And, come on. Make this stick where it needs to be. Oh yeah, here it is. This is the black surfacer here. Okay, um... I guess this is good enough here. Okay. You know, I think it might still be a little bit too big. So I'll just kind of push it into the middle here. There. Now, I've already plugged up the holes here. And I've taped up the wires to either side here. These LEDs in the back I haven't put into place yet, so I don't have to worry about those wires. But these little lights on the sides here, I've got them plugged up. And the two lights in the back, these are also plugged up. I need to move on to the next one here. And get busy plugging up these guys here. So, yeah, it's going to get stinky. Just have to uh, open the window up. It's a nice sunny February day. It's been snowing a lot. And I haven't been able to really get around to priming this. But, because I'm going to be using Tamiya Acrylics, I definitely want to have this primed. Because when I do all the masking, I don't want to be yanking up the, the paint because acrylics are not as sturdy as, as lacquers is what I usually use. In order to do the photo etch here, gotta have this set, put this down and make sure that you can not see any leftover, you know, like for example, like uh, you got uh, this, this window here, right? And it looks great until if you see it from this angle, you, like, you can see this you know, leftover plastic here, right? But like, you can see it, There's, it looks fine straight on, but if you look at it from an angle, you can see the leftover plastic. So, the instructions, what they say to do, is to, uh, you gotta cut this out. In order to put the, now these are, they're, they're pretty good on their, on their own, you know, so if, if you're uh, not using the photo etch, then, you know, this is pretty great. But, in order to have the photo etch look nice and sharp, you gotta open this stuff up here. So that means cutting out the insides here. And uh, I don't want to use my, my rotary on this stuff because it's, it's a bit finer detail. So, I'm just going to carve that open like, like so. And the same thing goes for this guy here. Huh? Oh, right now? Alright. Okay. Okay, thank you. There. I'm going to open this up. Open this up. Open this up. There. Okay. Okay. There. Here in Japan, instead of the ice cream man, they got the freaking baked potato, the sweet potato the sales guy that comes along. With this stupid truck. That's what my wife wants me to buy. I personally can't care less about sweet potatoes, really. I already had lunch. Anyway, so. I don't care about flavorless uh, baked potatoes. Alright, so. This is getting better here.
here. So though, I guess that's what's supposed to happen. Um, now which is the proper... I think this is it here. Yeah, so it's going to be like wrapped around, right? Oh, maybe I got this upside down here. I think. So, yeah, it looks like um, I still got to work on the opening these, these spaces up, but for the most part, they look pretty nice. So, I'm just going to paint these separately. And then put them down separately. Just the corners are what I want to make sure are opened up properly. So you can't see it from, from the angle. This is Mr. Metal Primer. And I, you know, actually, I've never used this before. It's it's pretty liquid, though, so... Uh, I think... I just brush it on. I don't think I have to airbrush or anything like that. Just brush it on. And, uh... Yeah, I just, I just want to put this on before I... Do the, the regular priming and such. There. So I just attach this to disposable chopsticks here. Do the same for this thing here. So. Uh, quite a lot of. Uh, Photo etch to prime, I think. There. Okay, cool. Now. I also have this stuff here that needs to be primed here. So, just brush it all on this stuff here too. Yeah, isn't that great? Cool, all right, this will dry soon and I'm gonna start doing the main priming. And I think some of the windows are on the bulb, I'm not quite yet finished with it, but I think I can just uh, drill some out. I, I want to get this stuff primed. I want to keep moving. I'm just using this pipe cleaner stuff. Actually, this is an airbrush cleaner, but it's kind of a little bit too big for my airbrush anyway, so I don't use it. I'm just getting rid of all the plastic debris that might still be in here. Get this nice and cleaned up for priming. Well, just when I thought I was ready to prime, um, I, I, didn't, I noticed that I, this uh, seam line I have not, I have not uh, sanded this down at all. So I'm going over this with some 400 grit sanding sponge and. Problem I'm seeing. Actually, this one's maybe not so bad. This one over here, though, I need to fill in this. There's a gap. There's like a crack here. So I'm gonna have to do that next. So yeah, I didn't get all the gate removed. So this is uh, it's, it's gonna take a while. And what time is it? It's almost four o'clock. The sun's gonna be going down pretty soon, so I may have uh, lost my opportunity to 
to do this with the w nice warm sunshine. Oh, man. Quite a rough seam line. So what I've done here is I've used some plastic plate and drilled some three millimeter holes into each one and then glued them into the back of this uh, the engine module here. Unfortunately the holes are sized for five millimeter LEDs, but the lights that go into the actual engines are only three millimeters. So this is a workaround. There's a problem here. These, uh, this locator pegs are in the way of the light source. These are going to have to be removed. And these are just going to have to be removed. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to just wing it in the front here because uh, these are going to be blocking the windows. And the corresponding pegs here will also need to be removed. There. So it's really, really unfortunate though that the photo etch doesn't even, they, it only kind of halfway matches what's in the actual kit here in, in terms of these windows. Really disappointing. Not happy about that at all. They just, I don't know. They they don't even match. So, ah, uh, of course I'm I'm not I'm just doing a test fit here. I'm not gluing this or anything like that. What I want to do is just see how bad this is. <laughs> I 
I mean, I really had to, there's no way you can make this look pretty. And I know people were, a bunch of arm, armchair modelers were criticizing me for not making it look nice. But, uh, unfortunately, it really, it can't be helped. Because, just, you have to just remove so much plastic that um, it's, it's going to look ugly. So, let me... See if I can uh, sand this stuff down some more. I got some jagged, jagged lines here. Just want to make sure this this looks nice for the photo etch, and then the clear parts are going to have to go inside here as well. Take a look at the photo etch here. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, there's there's no locator tab to keep this in where it belongs. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, this is really difficult to get this on 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 video here. All right. Just make sure these get pushed together, and I just want to make sure to you know I just want to look at to see how these are going to fit together here. So this will fit over here. Oh boy! Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess what I could do is uh, putty the stuff up, I guess. What I could do is, because I think this is going to be one color, one solid color, I can mask it off. And I, I might need to use some putty, because I, you know, as you can see here, I, um, I lost some of the plastic. I'm going to end this video here. Everything has been primed with the black primer, and it looks pretty nice. Now, something that you m may want to do is before adding these Greeblies, you might want to start painting and then add these on later. I don't know. Um, it's, uh, it's your call. Like, for example, there's this stripe here that this thing is laying on top of, and I don't think that the thing uh, that is laying on top here needs to be uh, the same color. I think it's going to be different colors, but it's really kind of hard to see on the box. I don't know. I just might just make this the way I want it to be made, I suppose. But uh, anyhow, so yeah, next video is going to be the painting, so uh, stay tuned. Bye. This build is brought to you by HDA Model Works. Are you looking for a great selection of science fiction related model kits online at great prices? Are you shopping for various LEDs of all sizes, LED tape, SMDs, and other electrical accessories for lighting your model kits? Are you looking for aftermarket items such as decals, photo etch, and resin parts? Is your cat stuck in the tree and won't come down? Then look no further than HDA Model Works. It's a fantastic online retailing site where you can find lots of what you are looking for. I shop there a lot, and I highly recommend it. Good luck with the cat. You're on your own.